Um, can somebody press record? No I guess I'll talk about this one guy. <laughs> yeah, here. Girl, he gave me that. This is what you guys been waiting for. What you've been asking about this father. Let's get it. In every video that I come out with, I premiere and I be down in the comments section. So make sure to hit me up. All right, enjoy. Bring it back, give me that sugar. I want that sugar. Give me that sugar. That oh, I want that sugar. Give me that sugar. That oh, I want that sugar. That sugar, sugar. Boy, give me that sugar, sugar. All right, part two, here we go. All right, y'all, and I probably sound a little slow. Excuse me, because he has no proper punctuation in this, so we're going to do the best we can. Let's go. Okay, it says, thank you for understanding. I'm not mad at anyone that is mad. It is because I will be the same way. I feel the same way. Then Letty says, ooh, I know y'all guilty as hell. Okay. So he says, well, tell me the reason why you feel I'm guilty. Tell me what makes you think we're guilty. Tell me what facts. Don't tell me what you think. Tell me your facts. Okay, right here, it sounds like he's trying to ask, what do y'all think? You know, why are y'all saying this about us? Why do y'all think this about us? I want to know facts. Why are y'all constantly saying, oh, we killed the baby instead of somebody else killed the baby? You see what I'm saying? Then someone asks, well, how long were you dating Sarah? I don't know her name. He says, since April. All right, now, as y'all can see, Mr. My Baby has only been in this baby's life since April, right? All right. So the question is, did you guys leave her alone while you went to the store at night? According to Quanell X, that's what y'all told him. This is where it gets good, y'all. Okay. And another person says, it's been said that both of you were at the store that night before she disappeared. Can you tell us who was taking care of Malia? And thank you. All right, now, y'all, this is the diversion. I'm sorry if it's a little loud in the background. It's my air conditioner. It's a little hot. You feel me? But anyways, listen to this part. Okay, so he says, yes, we left her at home while we were at the store at 11 o'clock at night. While my baby will sleep in a bed and corner next door. What the fuck? Hold on. Okay, after reading this a couple of times, I figure out he's not using spell correct on this. He's actually saying about somebody's name. Okay, so he's telling them the reason why he did that is because we didn't have no funds to give him. He's talking about Quanell X. And that's the first thing he asked us was about the money. He lied to us. Tell my dad they tried to pin a murder case that he could draft a murder case. He's only an activist. He only wants money. He did not try to help us. Okay, so someone says, but I don't understand. Why both y'all had to go to the store? Shouldn't one stay home with her, especially since it's a high crime area? He's a bitch. That's why he couldn't go to the store by himself, obviously. Okay, next. He And he responds, yes. They have camera footage of us walking from our apartment to the store. Without my baby, my baby will sleep in the bed. Oh, my baby, oh my God, okay. My baby will sleep in the bed. It was 11 o'clock. That is the first thing we told the detective. I'm not going to wake her up on her sleep. Just walk to the store. Hmm. I think I have an idea what they had to walk to the store and get. But uh, my question is, why does she have to go with you? Mm. So a lady says if it barks like a dog, it's a dog. Y'all got too many holes in this story. God sits high and looks low. What's done in the dark will come to the light. Then he says, you are true. You are very right. What's done in the dark must come to light. But you're still not speaking no facts about the situation. You're speaking a metaphor to me. <laughs> then he says, Cornell X is all about money. He doesn't give an F about nothing. At first, John Martin was not trying to help us. He was talking bad about us. But I said, I don't how to talk with him and he understood okay so he said he would help us and i thank john for that Alrighty. righty then young lady says you need to be talking to the detectives not social media 
And I think I agree with that statement. You should be talking to the cops. Do you feel that the police are doing everything possible to figure out what happened? Hmm. I think that's the part where it got interesting, you guys. And he says, no, I don't feel like the police is doing everything. Because the day the stuff happened, my baby would have came up. It took them too long to do anything. And they wasn't even looking for my baby. This guy is my baby. They were just standing in front of the apartments waiting on the dog, which the dog took four hours to bring the dog. The dog passed out soon as he got out there. Then, right after that, the helicopter went out of gas. The community, the paramedics, <laughs> the people inside the apartments helped us better than that. So a young lady asked him, you need to be talking to the detectives, not social media, and this is his response. If the detectives were answering the phone or call us back, we've been calling all day, every day, and I didn't identify my baby the right way. They did a conclusive identification. Do you know what it conclusive means? And someone else says, I was asking about how that her body has been found. I get that they might not release a lot of information publicly, but seems like they will give the parents some. I would think so, too. So he says, with the situation with the store, and he ain't even respond to what she said. We did walk together. We don't like walking by ourselves at night to the store because we know what goes on at night. So my baby, we're safe at home sleep. Y'all know what goes on at night. Y'all. So why you walking to the store? Stay your ass at home. I'm just saying. And then you leave the baby? And you just said that? Hmm, okay. So it sounds like to me. He trying to get his statement out there. He want to be heard. He want the cops to see that they had nothing to do with this situation. Like he said, they're not answering the phone. They're not calling them back. They don't know nothing. They didn't even get to see the baby's body. Probably because when the cops seen the baby's body, they knew that baby wasn't there way more than the days that they were telling them pretty much. That's my observation and my assumption, you know. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all got the same. Anyways, next person says, Have the mom been crying because she showed no emotions on the news? And he responds, I guess somebody else says, The same thing that y'all know is the same thing that we know. We are guilty. Oh, shit. My bad. I just was thinking of that wrong. <laughs> Hold on. My bad. I mean, if we were guilty, we should have been in jail. Everybody's listening to the next person. Then the young lady says, that still doesn't make sense to me, to be honest. Someone else says, how is the mom doing? Yes, the mom has been crying. Everybody grieves differently. Some people cry. Some people show emotion. Some people show anger. Some people cover up the emotion so people don't think they weak. So how would you tell us how to grieve? Really? I'm sorry, but you got to be a strong person to show no emotion. Hearing that your baby was just found dead. Really, bruh? And then that face, oh, she was found in the bayou on the floor. Bitch. Then a young lady says, I'm not love. I'm just trying to understand. If you can prove to me y'all telling the truth, then I'm riding to find this baby killer. Because kids is off limits. I'm just asking questions everybody wants to know. And he responds with, I can't show any proof. I can only tell y'all the detectives will show the proof and tell the facts. They've been coming for my family, people on social media. They've been coming for my dad. I don't even talk to my dad. But he in your comment section. But anyways, so if anybody has any questions, all you have to do is ask. I'm hurt just as much as y'all. Yeah. Then somebody makes a joke and said, no, nah, motherfucker, let me look it up while I fix these noodles. The young lady asks, was there anybody at the park? He says, yes, there was a lady sitting on the porch. We had asked her, and she said, no, no, no. We didn't see no baby. But when detectives asked her, she said, yeah, she seen the baby walking off. Hmm, I don't even remember the neighbor saying anything like that. But moving on. And my thing is this. If this complex supposedly watches everybody's babies and everybody's so cool, then... Why would you see a baby walk off and think it's normal with some random person? Because it sounds like a lie, that's why. Anyway, so someone says, so you were both questioned already. And if so, were you together? 
And how long did the questioning you? My bad. How long did they question you? Seems if they had any solid evidence, they would have made an arrest right then. All right, now this is where he's responding to the person talking about the baby eating noodles. He says, and please look it up. Why are you making those moves? There is nothing wrong with eating noodles. That is my baby's favorite food. You can ask anybody that's close to her that she likes to eat her grandmother will fix her food and she still won't noodles. Hmm. Says, yes, we were questioned the same night it happened after that. They never asked us any other questions. Exactly. And the next question hit it right on the head. So you've had no police contact since the first day? Really, bruh? Now, that's some red flags right there. If it don't raise none to you, it raised a lot to me. Okay, so he says, we went into the investigating at 9 o'clock. And then, I guess it mean didn't leave until 2 o'clock in the morning. Which they dropped us off at my family house and told us don't leave. Now, I don't know about y'all, but to me that sounds like you're a suspect, bruh. Like, who? how do you tell the parents of this missing child not to leave? You got me, I'm sorry, excuse my French, but you got me fucked up. I'm not about to sit in no house while my kid is out there missing. I'm going everywhere Timbuktu to look for my damn kid. You not about to tell me, stay here. Not going to happen. And is that why she's still in the house and she ain't went to the funeral? Now I'm raving. Okay, so let me get back to it. Okay. So he says, every time we call the detectives, they are not in the office. They say they are on lunch break with some other stuff, but we only talked to them two times since this happened. So y'all talked to the cops two times since your baby has been missing. And you don't find that little sus. I would be shitting my pants if I was them like he is now. That's why I believe he's on the internet pleading his case. The cops are not answering the phone for him. And he can't get in touch with nobody. So what else is he going to do? Get up here and answer questions. Hey, I'll answer anybody's question. The cops, they're not answering my phone calls. They're not listening to me. But guess what? I'm going to get it out there. I know they're paying attention to my page. Hmm. All right, now the next person says... So, no comment. That says a lot. So, he says, I apologize. What did you ask me? And this is what she asked him. That he failed to answer. If I may, there was a phone left behind. A pair of blue kids' shoes. And it seemed y'all left in a hurry. Things were out of place and missing. I've moved many times. So, I know it's crazy. LOL. Whose phone was that? And, of course, he's not going to answer. But... It says, and yes, I've been leaving voicemails. Mama went off on them because they won't answer the phone. I'm just going to confirm he didn't answer that question, y'all. But anyways, he says, every time we call, they say they on lunch break. They must take 20 lunch breaks a day. As y'all can see, basically he's trying to get this, you know, towards the police. You know, he, he wants the police to see this, as you can see, because he keeps referring to the police oh they must take 20 lunch breaks we keep calling them they not calling us back oh we need answers you don't really care you didn't go to the funeral bro and the lady said why did she call the baby real father he says could you reiterate that someone says what time did this play take place though i don't know what they're referring to um somebody says why was sahara keeping the baby away from the real father and someone else asks why didn't she call the real father when the baby went missing why is she not picking up his calls? And he says, she didn't keep her away from her real father. A real father didn't want to do shit. So I took on that. And it was hard for me. But I still love her. Really? It was hard for you to take on a child. So obviously you didn't want that child in the first place. For you to say that that child was a burden to you. Hmm. Because she was just so hard to take care of, apparently. A two-year-old, you know. The nerve of this dude, like, seriously. Y'all didn't even want the baby's father to see the baby. That's just the messed up part. Anyways. Y'all, sorry if it's loud. I apparently can't seem to get no goddamn peace and quiet around my place. Um, it's a bar next door. And these motherfuckers are loud. So just bear with me. Okay, so now he's answering the girl's question about the dad. He says, for the simple fact that any time he called, he called the grandmother. He doesn't call her. He calls the grandmother. And if you do call my girl, most of the time, they arguing and fighting. Mm. 
guess they would be arguing and fighting if you got somebody in the background talking shit in your ear. Anyway, so so if someone took her from the playground, do y'all think they got in the car and wouldn't she be screaming if it was a stranger? Mm, he says, I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear mom. I didn't hear dad. Ugh. But my baby uh, is the type to say hi. She loves people. She is a people person. We were going inside the store and she said hi to everyone in the store. She changed people's lives. If you said, I guarantee you, she will make you happy. It's like when he speaks about her, he gets under my skin, honestly. I can't. All right, someone asks, how long was she left outside? He says, not that long. Everything happened so fast. I started looking when she told my neighbor's son help. What the fuck? Hold on, let's, let's do that over. I start look when she told our neighbor's son help while my girlfriend was on the phone with the police. All right. Okay. Someone says, if I may, there was a phone left behind. It's the same girl from before that he didn't answer her question. She says, a pair of blue kid shoes and it seemed y'all left in a hurry. Things are out of place and missing. I moved many times, so I know it's crazy. LOL. Whose phone was that? Another young lady said, so y'all moved the game system and TV out Sunday? Somebody else says, was Malia found undressed and on an orange floaty? He's going to answer that question later on. As y'all can see, they is drilling him. They ain't letting up and I'm loving it. I'm loving all the questions. So we need to know some answers. Anyways, next he says, Cornell X Hare picked us up from my family house and took us back to the apartment. Once we told him we didn't have any money, he rushed us outside and my girlfriend left her phone by accident. So the video footage they are seeing was Cornell X letting them in our house and do what they want just because we didn't have any money. No, y'all was leaving thinking y'all was getting saved and you left your crap in the house. Tell it like it is. And then y'all claim y'all was moving. Okay, I got to them questions later. Y'all know y'all gonna hear them. Hold on. Okay, now he's answering the lady's question about the floaty. He says the floaty was when I took my baby out the water, and from my understanding, she wasn't wearing a yellow sundress. She was wearing a two-piece spaghetti strap and shorts with polka dots everywhere. First of all, nobody in the comments said anything about a yellow sundress and floaty um what is he talking about y'all like i'm lost the floaty was when i took my baby out of the water why was she what like what water is he talking about taking her out of like nigga you didn't take her out the bayou. you so what are you talking about okay anyways it says Yes, he asked us for money, and he also tried to play like he was a lawyer. This is not the first time Cardinal X has done that. Multiple people have tried to sue him. Mm. No, I think that man just make a living on making people tell him they self. Basically, he tried to make you seem like he's your friend. You know, get all the little information and details to see if it add up. You know, investigating, detective. All right, someone asked. Had you been served an eviction notice? And if so, when? And he's going to answer that in a second. But he says, don't know what she was doing at the playground. I was too busy trying to get on a game. But I guess she was having fun playing with her toys and stuff. That's the reason why she didn't run after her mother again. I apologize for us being irresponsible. But us being murderers, that's not even us. What? No. Sorry, as y'all can see, these questions and answers are all over the place. I'm trying to keep them together for you. You feel me? Anyways, let's keep going. Okay, y'all, no matter how many times I read this to myself, it still don't make sense. But maybe y'all can make some sense of it. Okay. It says, yes, we have been served a eviction notice. <laughs> a eviction notice. People don't understand that we're young. We have... A baby it's hard for us this is our first apartment COVID-19 messed up our job so who's getting unemployment and food stamps I had just got food stamps to put in the refrigerator okay first of all you just what not you just online talking about people getting unemployment why is she anyways after some thinking and watching all these messages I decided to put my own in there and then I asked them you know 
hey, how long were y'all living at the new apartment? The two bedroom, because he kept asking questions and answering questions like he just was slow. So I had to be specific, you feel me? Because if y'all remember, that apartment, them doors was all off the hinges. So I'm like, and I said that too. I'm like, so you let them give y'all an apartment with the doors off the hinges like that? Like, and the doors all busted up? That's crazy. But anyways, he says almost two months because he claimed they was going back and forth between the other apartment and the new apartment. But you was living there for two months now. So someone says, y'all do realize that the police already know her cause of death, right? They aren't going to tell you anything for the simple fact that they're building a case. I don't feel like y'all are being truthful at all based on my own feelings because y'all story don't add up. It's better to tell the truth because I guarantee you when they come put them cuffs on both of y'all, they're going to start taking years and your girlfriend is going to put all the blame on you and they're going to believe her because of your past. Even if she was the one who strangled or hit or whatever caused Malaya's death, she's going to fold and you're going to be the one they blame. And I don't put it past. Someone asked what they got from the store. He says snacks and drinks just I tell we could go to the grocery store. What the fuck? Okay, whatever. All right, says, well, I know the truth, and you sound kind of dumb for the simple fact that they already did the autopsy. We should already be in jail, <laughs> not only the autopsy to the time of death until how she died. What I tell you about that, them key words. Listen to this again. I'm reread this. You sound kind of dumb for the simple fact that if they already did the autopsy, we should already be in jail. Hmm. Not our, not only the autopsy to the time and death, it tells how she died. Hmm. So basically he's saying they should already be in jail since they did the autopsy, but obviously they didn't catch it, so that's why they not in jail. Hmm. Then he answered somebody else. It's about five minutes to get to the store, so maybe about ten minutes altogether. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry. I tried to get both, like, the answers and then the questions, but it's just getting to be too much. So, what I'm going to do is just read all of his reactions because that's really all we need, right? You feel me? And we can pretty much figure out what the questions were to his answers. It's common sense. We all got it. Let's do it. Okay, so it says, she wasn't at the park at night. It was the daytime. I understand leaving a baby at the park is dangerous. We didn't think it was going to end up like this. So I do apologize to everyone and feel free to ask questions. Because you know, he's the guy to come to to ask questions. Where the fuck is the mom at at this? Okay, it says, I'm confused. Did you know immediately at the bayou that they had located Malia? Because it sounds like you weren't able to assist in identifying. Which... They were not. They weren't able to even see the baby's body. So how did you know it was her? And what made you say she was found on the orange float? The hell? That was the last question I was going to show. But anyways, it says, we weren't able to identify her. They made a conclusive identification yesterday. Also, the news had called us to the bayou. All right, the next question somebody pretty much asked, well, if you knew it was a high crime area, why would you leave the baby in the house by herself knowing that? So he says, yes, but I have dogs at the house, so my dogs are going to protect her. Really, dude? Like, from what I heard, them dogs were nothing. They was mutts, and they weren't going to protect nobody. <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. I know I said I wasn't going to read no questions, but I'm going to read the good ones, okay? Say, so why wouldn't the mother be the one to ID the body? She would have been next to Ken, so the mother hasn't even been able to see her child? That's fucked up. He says they wouldn't even let the grandma go see her. The medical examiners took her out the water. They have to use a floaty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all better cover that up. He says she was sleeping, so didn't want to wake her up to just go to the store and come back. But people are entitled to their own opinion. No, it's a two-year-old left in the house by herself, stupid. Then the dumbass had the nerve to tell somebody else to look up conclusive identification. Hmm. And this is a statement from one of the females that was at the house that day. You feel me? That went in. And they didn't take nothing out of that house. They didn't. They said wherever they, when they went in that house, it was exactly like it was. They said, did nobody go in that house or nobody took nothing out of that house. The house was how they had it when that baby was missing. No TV, no game, no nothing was in there. What the hell was y'all doing? And she says, them dogs wasn't aggressive. They was puppies. 
and friendly because the people out there took the dogs. If the dogs was aggressive, they wouldn't go with no new owner. Exactly. No aggressive dog that's going to protect her is going to just go with a random person. All right, says, don't respond to these guys. He's talking to his dad. He says, he's not even from Houston and her people from Michigan. Call the police and try to build a case from way out there. And that's why everybody talking crap. So I'm guessing he's saying everybody talking crap because they not even from Texas and they talking stuff about the case. Were you there? Do you know what happened? Even a police officer passed out. If you think we like to go ask the apartments any of the negative things you got to say, man, get off my page and leave my family alone. They don't have nothing to do with this. You just looking for clout. His dad is a sicko, y'all. I should just put these messages in now. Here I go. I'm not going to read every single message, but I'm going to go through a couple so y'all know what we deal with. He talks to some girl and says, you don't know me like that. Get off my page. I wish it was your baby. Who you are to tell me what to do. B, I wish you come to my face and say that you don't know what I told my son. You don't want to see me in person and say that to my face. Okay, that was bad, but that wasn't that bad. Here we go. Oh my God, my background's so loud. I'm sorry, y'all. He says, me too. Did you tell your kids to open up their butthole? That's just nasty, bro. And he tells the lady, my D is good. Ask your kids that. How's your baby going to look taking that D? Like, bro, like, who even thinks like this? A pedophile. That's the only thing I can think of. Your little girl or boy ain't out F they little butthole out. Like, really? And you got a kid. Really? All right, at this point, I just got irritated with Look at these messages. It was just like disgusting. Grace, I had to say something. So this is what I said. Dude, really? You're talking about raping a kid? Like, really? I was kind of on your side at first. Like, well, they are coming at him. Then you're talking about effing kids in the butt. Come on now. You got to be in my YouTube video. Dang. Man, I guess the apple don't fall too far from the tree. So I asked, did you rape him when he was younger? You did do time for murder, so it makes me think. And I'm really not trying to be disrespectful, but your son has anger issues. And I see where he gets it from. You are opening yourself up for people to say stuff about you. I have never seen people attack the family like this. You are really making your son look bad. Please stop. And I told him, um... Oh, yeah, my channel is Chicago Love YouTube, and I would try to be soft on you, but no promises, because you sound like a pedophile. But, um, yeah. So he responds with, who give a F? Make sure you get on them for coming to my page first. And hit me on the messenger. I'll do it, but you right. They come effing with me, all these fake pages on the set. F them. Um, he did hit me up, and I'm not willing to do any interviews. It's just a lot of fuckery. I don't really see a point. So, I left that alone, you guys. I mean, I'm just saying. A guy that's talking like that, I don't really think I even want to have a conversation with that person. Just saying. Next. Anyways. Alright, back to his son. Okay, so now he's on his son's page defending him, and he tells him. His son to report the people that's talking stuff on his page. Even though his son then came on here and said he's ready to do questions and answers. So what are you talking about? Anyways, but he just also said he don't even talk to his father. Remember that? Mm. It's just funny that your father comes around when this starts happening. But it back to the story. Okay, because everybody's going to say what they say, I have their opinion. Everybody mad, and they have a right to be mad. And I understand I'm going to let them do what they want to do. I don't know, somehow get off topic, and they're talking about show. Well, show me this friend. You got the trained dogs in Las Vegas, not Houston. I don't know. His dad told him to stop talking to these people and report them. And that's what he's thumbing up. <laughs> then he tells everybody he's at the medical examiner's office, even though it's 11 o'clock at night. Typical. And meanwhile, his father's been arguing the whole time. And he says, someone asks, if she went missing in the park, how the fuck is the apartment a crime scene or evidence? 
And his father responds, because it could have happened in the apartment, dummy. It is called an investigation, dummy. Nobody know what happened. Why would you be <laughs> insinuating that your son killed the baby in the apartment? Just crazy. After that, I guess he had enough and he said, see, I'm not answering no more questions. Someone says, why not? Someone else says, are you still taking your meds, fuckboy? He says, for the simple fact, people are starting to be disrespectful. And I told I would answer anything if they stopped being disrespectful. So his feelings was a little hurt. And I guess he done answering questions. But it didn't stop there. People still had stuff to say, even though he was done. And roll the clip. four days since my son has been missing and I just want whoever to have him please take him somewhere safe I know he's scared and I know he's crying and he has stomach pains and he's not eating he's a picky eater so if you want to just drop him off somewhere please drop him off to the police station you can drop him off here call my phone I know he's crying. I know you can't get him to stop crying. He's being picky. He's not eating. And if he's scared, I won't be mad. Please just drop him off to me. I just want him home. That's it. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you for doing that. I will put that out. And then Dejanet, Dejanet, correct? Mm -hmm. D-A-J-A-N-E. Mm -hmm. Cock. D-A-J-N-A-E. Cock. Okay. Thank you so much. Is there anything else you'd want to say? Mm -mm. Okay. Thank you.